Commercial appeal. This one is pretty funny. Who has it? The best part of the game for me, it's got to be the ads. That word from the sponsor is an expensive one. It costs brands $7 million for 30 seconds of airtime. That equates to about $233,000 every second. And that word will be heard. This Sunday, they expect over 115 million viewers. Eric Pankey is creative director at the Avon ad firm Adams and & Knight, and his game has already begun, the one analyzing the upcoming Super Bowl ads. What makes a good Super Bowl ad, Eric? A good Super Bowl ad has all the components. It's got to be fun, it's got to it's got to engage, and it's got to let you know what the product is. It might be off the beaten path, but Eric says this Kawasaki commercial is right on. And if you love mullets and you love driving around in the woods, uh, this is going to be the ad for you. And it's got a little bit of star power uh, with Stone Cold Steve Austin dumped in there for, for, for laughs. Thanks, fellas. In 2024, Bud Light has gone big budget yet again. Bud Light is literally like a bro fever dream. Again, a cavalcade of celebrities. You have Post Malone in that one. You have Peyton Manning. And you even have a Tyrannosaurus Rex. What else cut the mustard? Mayo. Mayo. Hellman's. Apparently, Mayo Cat did. Kate McKinnon, great shock value in eating, eating some mayonnaise. Uh, but again, that one falls into the traditional script of how can we add an extra celebrity on top of celebrities? And they do a great job uh, with a little cameo from Pete Davidson in there. He adds there's now a connection between Swifties and snacking. A great spot from Doritos um, that really hits two audiences that are growing, which is uh, teenage girls, thank you Taylor Swift, and Latinos. And at around $14 million a minute, the station breaks are indeed make or break. This is the Super Bowl for the industry. It's also the Pro Bowl for the industry. And it's also a highlight reel of all the best the industry has to offer. In Avon, Jim Altman, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.